Let me ask you, how would you rate your penmanship on a scale of 1 to 10? If a third grader can write better than your chicken scratch, you might rate yourself a 3 or lower. If most people can read your notes without squinting or asking for clarification, then give yourself a rating between 4 and 6. Anyone who is a 7 and above should be able to write in print and cursive with a higher degree of clarity, consistency, and neatness. So, where do you stand? As you may already know, using a fountain pen can improve your handwriting. The smooth ink flow, the lighter touch of nib to paper, and the wide array of ink color choices can personalize your writing experience and allow your thoughts to flow effortlessly on the page. If you're just getting started with improving your handwriting and rate yourself a 5 or under, I suggest you watch the first video in this series to establish the base of what we are going to build on today. In this video, we are going to talk about fountain pen nibs that have the ability to take your handwriting to a higher level. So from like a 5 to a 6, or to a 6 to a 7, or 7 and beyond, we're going to talk about flex versus stub nibs. Standard round nibs that are common to most fountain pens produce a monoline, that is, a line that stays a consistent width no matter the direction, angle, or pressure applied to the nib. When you're shopping around for a pen and you see that it is available in extra fine, fine, medium, or broad nib sizes, these all refer to round type nibs. The defining characteristic of a stub nib is its shape. Instead of having a round ball of tipping material to create a monoline, the rectangular shape of the stub nib provides a broader vertical downstroke and a thin horizontal one. The purpose is to add calligraphic flair to your handwriting. The degree of line variation will depend on how well the edges of the stub are polished. A highly rounded stub may not provide much line variation, but will be smoother than a sharper stub nib that produces more dramatic line variation. Back in the days of old, pointed pen calligraphy or Spencerian penmanship would call for a flexible point that yielded generous line variation with gentle finger pressure applied evenly to the tines. When fountain pens first became popular in the early 20th century, many were made with gold flexible nibs to produce the line variation necessary for the proper handwriting style of the era. In 2019, flex nibs are not the norm, but rather a niche within a niche. They are uniquely designed to spread the tines when finger pressure is applied at the correct angle and returned back to a finer line once the pressure is let up. The result is a controlled line variation that can swell and contract by applied finger pressure. The difference between stub and flex nibs can be best described by the late Susan Wirth, who often provided the analogy that a stub nib was like a car with an automatic transmission, and a flex nib was like a car with a manual transmission. A stub nib automatically provides line variation by virtue of its tip shape. A flex nib must be manually throttled by using slight finger pressure to spread the tines. Now that we understand the basic design differences between each nib style, you might be asking yourself, which is the right nib that will help me improve my penmanship? Well, it depends on a few factors. Are you a noob? If you're a beginner in the world of fountain pens, a flex nib might be too overwhelming to start. Most new drivers learn on cars with automatic transmission, so I suggest learning to write with a stub nib first to get a feel for the proper writing angle. While learning to utilize a flex nib can be a bit daunting for a beginner, you can still write with a flex nib as you would a normal rounded pen nib. Simply don't press on the tines. Fountain pen noobs may also be new to the idea of tinkering with their pens to remedy ink flow issues that might arise with using flex nibs. Railroading is one of those problems that can give a novice flex writer unending grief. It's when the nib becomes starved of ink when flexing. Instead of drawing a swell of ink on the paper, an outline of the stroke is left behind. There are various reasons to troubleshoot, but a newbie may not have the patience for it. Budget can also be a factor, as most adequate flex nibs are usually higher in price than stub nibs. While I favor recommending a stub nib for beginners, if you're an experienced hand when it comes to writing with fountain pens and are looking for controlled line variation, then investing in a quality flex nib pen is the way to go. A flex nib is a versatile writing nib that can handle writing headings and signatures with a flourish while jotting margin notes and performing general writing just like any standard round nib. 
An experienced fountain pen enthusiast can remedy potential ink flow issues and have the patience to learn the nuances behind the pen's capabilities instead of redlining it and splaying the nib. So what are my options? Writing with a stub or flex nib doesn't need to be an expensive affair. Here are five choice pens that range from under $30 to over $500 starting with stub nibs. Number one, Pilot Metropolitan with a 1.0 millimeter stub nib. Number two, Alami Safari with a calligraphy nib. Number three, a Retro 51 Tornado with a Yovo stainless steel stub nib. Number four, a Leonardo Officina Italiana fountain pen with a box stub nib. Number five, a Sailor 1911 standard with a 14 karat gold music nib. And here's our suggestions for flex nibs. Number one, Monteverde Monza Jolly Green Flex, the number five size OmniFlex nib. Number two, a Conklin Duragraph with the number six size OmniFlex nib. Number three, a Pilot Falcon with a 14 karat gold Falcon nib. Number four, a Pilot Custom 912 FA nib. Number five, Scribo Feel the Flex 14 karat gold nib. Now, you might be surprised as to how much the price can vary. While it is true that a higher quality comes at a higher cost, any of these suggestions would be a solid option at their respective price level. As you're browsing around, keep in mind that there are varying degrees of stub nibs as well as flex. Stub nibs are a bit easier to sort out because they usually indicate a point size such as 0.8 millimeters, 1.3 millimeters, 1.9 millimeters, and so on. Smaller stub nibs are more manageable as an everyday writer, but produce less noticeable line variation. The larger stub nibs produce more drastic line variation, but would not be practical for general purpose writing. Flex nibs are a bit harder to shop for, as it isn't obvious to the degree of flexibility a nib has until it is tested. Most will indicate a point size to start off with, and that would be the unflexed nib size. Pilot Falcon pens, for example, are offered in extra fine, fine, medium, or broad nib sizes. When the nib is pressed for flexibility, it will provide a thicker line. For a higher ratio of flexed versus unflexed line, opt for the smaller nib sizes like fine or extra fine. The flexibility of a flex nib also varies. Steel flex nibs are often stiffer and require more finger pressure to activate the flex. 14 karat gold flex nibs are often the best choice because they are softer, provide a higher degree of flex, and snap back quickly. A popular pen modification is to use the Zebra G nib, which is meant to be a dip pen nib, as a fountain pen nib. When correctly prepared and installed, the flex is wicked awesome, with an off-the-chart line variation usually reserved for vintage wet noodle type pens. Pierre Miller from the Desiderata Pen Company offers most of his handmade pens with a custom cut feed that is meant to be used with the Zebra G nib. The main issue with this modification is that the dip nibs are made from chrome, which reacts to prolonged exposure to ink and corrodes over time. You could expect to change out your Zebra G nib every 48 weeks. They aren't that expensive, but it's kind of a pain to have to keep swapping them. Instead of buying the factory version of a stub or flex nib, many fountain pen enthusiasts opt for a highly tailored experience of sending their pens to be modified by a nib meister. You can sign up for an in-person appointment at a pen show or send away your pens for customization. The result is a nib crafted to your exact specifications. The one caveat is that any modification to a nib will void the warranty of the pen. For that reason, Goldspot Pens does not perform these modifications to pens sold through our store. For those who already enjoy writing with a stub or flex nib, where do you stand? Are you hashtag team stub or hashtag forever flex? Let us know in the comments below which is your favorite stub or flex fountain pen. I hope that you found this video fun and informative. If you'd like to find out more about specialty nibs, calligraphy, and improving your handwriting, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for new videos each week. Thank you for watching, and stay inky, my friends. Take care.